Hello boys and girls, welcome to my kitchen. The first thing we're going to learn how to do is how to sweep the floor. You're going to need a broom and a dustpan with a hand broom and a trash can to put everything in when you're finished. I'm going to move that to the side. And then there's one more thing oh, right here that will help you and that is the magic pebble. You can also use a coin or some other small object that doesn't roll around. And the reason you're going to use this is because this becomes your target, so you know where to sweep to. So I'm going to place my target on the floor. Let's say I'm going to place it right there. I take my broom and I'm going to start sweeping. I always want to start sweeping around the outer edge first. So I'm going to sweep along the walls first, and then I move towards the middle. And again, I'm going to sweep along outer edge first. And I'm going to use this paddle and I have to try to really dig in there. And then I'm going to sweep it all towards my target to the, the, the pebble so that I'm not just moving things around on the floor. And this is a pull room, which means that I'm always going to pull it towards me. And remember, we have to use two hands to do good work. So just go around, and you're going to sweep everything towards your pebble, just like that. See, you've got your target right there. And then you're going to tap, tap, tap the broom in case any dirt gets stuck on it. You want to leave it with your pile instead of scattering it around. Then you're going to take your dust pan and hand broom and you're going to sweep everything up. And sometimes you have to pull back a little bit so that it all makes its way onto your dust pan. You're going to take the pebble, you're going to give it a rinse, and then you can use it again next time. Then you're going to transfer the dust from the dust pan into the trash can. Make sure you hit it right in the center. And then you're going to tap, 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 tap. So anything that's stuck on there gets in there. And then you're going to do the same thing with your broom. That way you're not accidentally moving the crumbs around. And that's how you sweep the kitchen.